Now, another important thing for me are the camps. Because we need to get connected. It is really the, the, the key word, it is the, the most important subject we have to have. I'm not talking about hierarchy. I mean, we are a network, we don't have a hierarchy where someone is the boss of the other one and can say, well, you have to do so and so and you have to demand this money or you have to post these people and you have to change that location, whatever. We are a network. And it is so important that we have comm lines. We recently, I had a very nice cognition. You have the condition of power, and the formula is actually don't disconnect. But that means, first, you have to be connected that you can disconnect at all. <laughs> and that's so important. It is so very important to be connected. That makes us strong. If every center or every being is alone, and believe me, our enemies, our SPs on planet Earth are doing exactly that. Divide and conquer. I mean, I can go now in politics, you can see that they go into a country and destroy everything, so there's no structure left and people are no more connected. And they do it with the free zone, especially with the copyright issue we were talking before. We were all ducking down, hiding, and we didn't talk, didn't dare to talk. We, we were afraid that we have spies and so on. We just separated from each other. We, we didn't bring up big organizations. And, and it's so important to be connected. <clears throat> you know, when you go to the opposite, then you have disconnected, which is a level below. And if you go even lower, you are unconnected. And that's the worst condition where people are in a condition they don't care at all what they do. They can do any crime, they can... They're just absolutely irresponsible. This is absolutely unconnected. They, you can give them a gun into the hands and say, go and shoot, and they do. They say, well, that was an order. And that's unconnected. If you go a bit higher, disconnected, then you are actually still... You try to get connected somehow and get enough. So, all what we do in Scientology is getting a person connected. Now, let's take the objectives, for example. Touch this object, touch that, touch the body part, don't do that. You are getting connected with any single process. I mean, handing an RC plate, you are getting connected again with something. Or if you do any process, you're getting connected with your grandmother, you have no communication anymore, or you're getting connected with this and that. I mean, factually, you can take almost any process in Scientology which is just <coughs> making you connected again with a subject. And the more auditing you, are get, you get, the more you are connected. So this is important. When we had our training camps, we came together. And the first, we just did it so because we had no other chance. You know, we go to Russia and we had people from everywhere. From Minsk, from Odessa, from Kiev, from Vladivostok, Saratov, from Omsk, from, uh, from Novosibirsk, from Irzhevsk, Irkutsk, Moscow, of course, Petersburg. And so many cities, they just came. And how to deal with that? Well, we rented a place. We were all in the same place for 14 days for three weeks under the same roof, eating the same food, same classroom. And that was a big, big opportunity for us. Because, you know, when people are together, they start to quarrel. They dislike something and they're not happy with that. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and we just said, okay, now you sit together, you talk. And sometimes they talk to six o'clock in the morning, <laughs> sorting out their differences, whatever. And 
in oh, yeah. for camp for camp, you know, sometimes it was so, and the same subject sometimes came up for several camps. Uh, good subjects for chorals were, were always the translations. <coughs> ah, that's wrongly this translated, and this is still not correct, and then ah, 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 a lot of a lot of quarrels. But after all, it made a group. It made a real OT group, you know? They know each other, they know their strengths, they know their weakness, but they can work together, they help each other, they just know each other, and that's so helpful. That is incredible, you, you can talk openly. You have to understand, when we want to have qualification, then it needs a high trust. We need to trust each other so very much. You know, you make mistakes in your other thing, and in the free zone, you know, I have seen that so many times. You make a mistake, and someone comes and points that out. The next thing what you see is separated. You don't have to tell me. <laughs> I know better. <laughs> Happens so many times. But when you are in a camp, then you start to talk about it. And, well, we have today this panel where we're sitting together. When we came to Russia, and still today, but in the beginning it was, well, I said, I had a new definition for uh, being OT to confront a billion question. <laughs> they ask questions and questions and questions. Well, sometimes they are stupid, but... <laughs> For example, how sentence makes sex. <laughs> how sentence, sentence are making sex with our body. It was an important question. <laughs> but there were many, many good questions <laughs> we had to answer. And that doesn't mean we had to answer them verbally. Of course, we answered a lot of questions verbally. But finally, it forced us to find references, to read our textbooks really. Because when we came from the church, we had our habits. We did it so and so and so, and it was all based on that. And we knew it is correct. And then, after a while, you have trained those people, and they were really uh, free in their minds. They came to you and said, but Max, see here, here is written, blah, 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 why don't you do it so? Oops. <laughs> and I had to go with the textbook again, you know, and to study those materials carefully again. Or sometimes it was just so, someone came and said, he did so and so and so, and I said, well, I have to write to you, can I? And he said, no, no, look, here it's written so and so and so. And I said, okay, bring the folder, let's take a look. What was the product? And by that, we found a lot of mistakes. We were just thinking, it's the tech. But by having all those viewpoints, we really started to carefully look at the materials and be critical of what is written. And it was so amazing to find things. I thought, this is right. And then I looked at the materials. No, it's not written so. It's not written, but I was taught so in the church and I did it so all the time. And I was absolutely convinced, 100 pro. So, this training camp had a real big advantage of communication and sorting out all those things. And we never ever uh, stopped any question. When there was a question, we were there to listen to the question and to sort it out, and we did it. And it was helpful not only for them who asked, it was also helpful for me and for Erika and any technical terminal. And I think 
we, we found so many lost technology then. I'm so happy we had this opportunity to do all these camps in Russia. I mean, I grew so much in that. And just because we were a group and we had free communication and nothing was uh, forbidden to ask or talk about, nothing. But we went back to standard or to the materials, the red materials or to the lectures. Yes? I have a question. What if we wanted to do a training camp here in the United States? What yeah. if we wanted to, a lot like-minded people, maybe maybe not 14 days, maybe 7 to 10 days, in a reasonable place, maybe even, give the word, tents. I mean, I've been in tents. <laughs> I have stayed in good tents. Um, and, and we would do courses. We would do auditing. Um, what, what would we do? How could we organize how, it? And, yeah, how do you do go about it? And what about, what about money? Would there be money paid to the people that are doing the auditing? Would there be money paid to the CSA? We would have to pay, of course, for our food and for a place to stay. Um, but how, 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 is there a sort of a pattern that you're thinking of when you say to have camps? Yeah, there is quite some technology about that. You want to stop me? No, no, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to add that that's one of the things we're going to be meeting uh, with, with, uh, with him about today, and I know I want to bring that up and, and get his successful actions so we can have a training camp here in the U.S. Yeah, definitely. I can tell you what is the basic policy making a training camp. We have centers. And the center are actually, uh, I don't have the correct English word for them, they are holy, they are autonomous, they are for themselves, they have a so, 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 sovereignty, they have a sovereignty, that's the word, they are sovereign. Sovereign, that's the word, okay. And so when we have a public, then that person is paying service in his center not in the camp and the people are coming then to the camp and they just pay actually the expenses for the camp and also the supervisors there and so but that's not a lot for example a training camp in switzerland for one week costs three i mean this is sleeping but not food sleeping is included and supervision is included is 350 swiss francs for one week it's not a lot it's not a lot Exactly the same. A little bit more now. Dollars suffered very much in the last few years. <laughs> but right now it's almost equal. So that's the basic setup. And then you go there, you have, a super, have some supervisors, we, you can do auditing, and then of course that is also counted separately. And very easy to do. Oh, well, if someone has an, a, uh, you have an auditor and a PC, and this, they are negotiating themselves how they deal with that. It is not, they don't pay to the camp this money. But would the camp provide auditors? No, that we, that's difficult to provide actually, but auditors can come there and audit their PCs. They can do that, they can meet there for example. Uh, well, I can probably set up an, an, an email that to uh, explain in detail, but you can come there and audit. You can come there to work on your OT levels. I mean, we deliver all in this camp from the comm course up to 48. doesn't matter, we just have two or three course rooms so that the confidentiality is not broken. You know, that we, we can talk about it. And we had, for example, this is also a successful action in this camp, we had every day a CS meeting. And we're talking about the technology. I mean, we have to talk about, I mean, uh, verbal tech. I don't care about that, we have to talk about it. And that does not mean we are neglecting the bulletins or the tapes. In this CS meeting, I'm writing a lot of pink sheets. This is done nevertheless, or we are picking up references, or sometimes we are listening to tapes of LRH, I mean, they were sessions, to listen, what exactly did they do? How are they audited? Or how did they audit in those years? 
what exactly do they do and how is it in comparison to the to the bulletins we sort that out and well that's that's very helpful there's i mean there's nothing wrong with the cs conference no it's not it's not verbal tech the cs conference is that's right, but I know, I know when I left the church in 83, but and still today is probably worse, I couldn't open my mouth and think, well, that's quoted here and here, and other age site there and there, and other age, so and so on. Oh, I couldn't talk myself anymore. There are many CSs actually. I don't know how active they are. I mean, I hear every once in a while, he is class 8, he is class 12, he is class 6, and all CSs. Go to the internet to the Free Zone Auditor Association or something where you have all these flags on the map, on the Google map. There's so many people there. I don't know who is in CS there, but we have a lot of technical trained people here. This is. It's endless. We just have to connect them up. We have to get yes. We have to make a real to make a real group. A convention is fine. I mean, I'm glad you organized this convention. This is this is great, but it's by far too short. We, until we have started and getting connected, we, we are leaving already. It's time to make friends. Seven to ten days. Yeah, at least. In the beginning, the longest camps we did in Russia was three and a half weeks. When we really, in the beginning, when we had to get something done, we were three and a half weeks there. Hard work. I mean, that was really, that was camps. I tell you, I was exhausted at the end. You can't believe. Well, we had up to almost 200 people in the camps. Unless it's more. We don't have so many people here in the convention. And, and it's a real big, it's a great, great tool. It's a great technology and we have to do that. And I'm thinking about doing something here in America, but if someone wants to do it from you, I don't want to take that hat also. I mean, I have enough hats. <laughs> okay, but let's take that as a postulate, okay? You agree with that? Great. Good. Now, you still have a question, yes? Well, not a question. I just wanted to compliment you on your, uh, uh, you know, humility is the essence of review, and being able to get correction happening is, is without, uh, standard correction is, is, is really yeah. important. Thank you. Terrell? People here might be interested to know which of your camps cater for English speakers. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> we might want to know which of your camps cater for English speakers. In, in Russia? speak any other languages. In Russia, it's mainly Russian, that's it. It's, yeah. In Switzerland, we have. <coughs> but that's German and English, that's all, and French. <laughs> Good. Now, I would like to switch over to another subject, Ray. I'm sorry, there's still yeah, something right, very right. important. Out of this grew another project I consider very, very important. And as I told in the beginning, this is why we are here at all. We, our basic intention was not coming to the convention. That is actually a, a secondary target. The primary target was actually OT missions. And this is, well, we, I asked Dan Ray to change the date for the convention so that we also can participate in the convention. I consider that. That's also extremely important. But the primary target was OT missions and what night to talk Eric about it and give some information and also some Russian will say something to that. Thanks for your thanks for your attention. <laughs>